Good day class. My name is Mrs. S. Malinga. Today we are going to look at the book of Matthew, Religious Studies. Remember you are going to write paper 1 and paper 2. Paper 1 consists of the book of Matthew and paper 2 it is the book of Acts. Today we are going to look at the paper 1, the book of Matthew. We are looking at uh, how Jesus calmed the storm. How Jesus calmed the storm. Remember Jesus was a man of miracles. And he was a man who could turn things in, in a way that people couldn't understand. He was a man who spoke in parables. This time, Jesus said to calm the storm. They were, he was tired, sleeping in the boat, and the disciples were also part of the crew. When there was a very strong wind or a strong storm there, it happened that the disciples were shivering. They didn't even know what to do. Then they were to wake him up to say, we are, we are going to die. Did Jesus, while you are sleeping here, Jesus said to, was not happy with how they, they treated the whole thing and they calmed the storm. The storm. They, the men marveled, asking, who, how, who can this be? That even the winds and the sea, they obey him. They had to discover the kind of person Jesus was when he calmed the storm. That he has got power over all forces of nature. He has got power over all the things that are created. Remember this Jesus that we are talking about is part of the tree, is part of the Holy Trinity. God is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the past, during the times of Moses, it was the, the God who was in control. Then this time, when they wrote the book of Matthew, it was Jesus. Then after Jesus had died, it was the time for the Holy Spirit. Then what do we learn from this miracle that happened when Jesus said to calm the storm? This is a nature miracle whereby nature miracle is the suspension of the normal laws of the universe they are suspended and their role was to demonstrate the ultimate power of god we see the power of god in calming the storm we see the power of god whereby no one could do anything about that storm they just they were just waiting for their death but jesus said to change the situation around so that everything was just calm and there was silence today. The miracle of coming the storm, it teaches Christians the extent of Jesus' divine power. Jesus has power over all the forces of this world. You could control the forces of nature, the wind, the sea. Normal conditions are suspended when Jesus is in control. There is belief in the full extent of Jesus' power, which is a matter of faith. If you have got faith, nothing is impossible. That is what Jesus said, that you can even tell a mountain that move from here to there, and it moves. When he talked about a mountain, he meant that um, you can change situations that might seem impossible to change to be to what you wish they can be. So this is a, a nature miracle. Then we also have another incident where things happened in a way that people couldn't understand. There was a boy who had evil spirit. This boy was brought by the father to the disciples. Remember Jesus had taken three disciples to go and to the mountain for transfiguration to take place. When Jesus came back, he found the disciples and a large crowd making a lot of noise. When he was just coming closer, he heard the, the, the people accusing each other to say, we have failed to heal this boy. What, what, what is it that you, you are doing here? Jesus was disturbed by their failure to heal the boy and he commanded the boy to come. He commanded that spirit which was in the boy to go. And the man who is the father to this boy had to explain that the reason why he came back, he, be, he believed that this boy can be healed. And the boy was always falling into the fire, falling into water, and anything could have happened to him which, was, which would have costed his life. So it's very, very important to be able to narrate these stories when you're answering your question. Be able to narrate stories as, they, it, as it is written in the Bible, you will score very, very high marks. There, it says that Jesus said to rebuke the demon and a demon and came out of him. The child was cute that very hour, that very moment, the child was cute. The disciples came to Jesus privately. They were embarrassed by their failure to, 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 to heal the boy. Then they had to ask, why did we fail to cast away that demon? Jesus said, because of your unbelief, you need a faith as small as a mustard seed so that you can be able to move mountains with that faith. That is why the healing of a boy with evil spirits was epileptic according to what the father said. Then what, do we, what is the lesson that we learn about Jesus and his work? Jesus and his three disciples, they were coming from a mountain 
they found other disciples making a lot of noise. It, it, there was a lot of confusion. Then there were teachers of law, they were marking whatever was happening there. We see the sick boy being healed. We see the power of Jesus' word when the boy was healed instantly. The father had to call that disease epilepsy. It makes a person shake hard and fall down. The Jesus used the same words that were used, um, described in Israel's people in the desert long ago. He healed the boy with just a command and the boy was well. The disciples wanted to know why they failed. Jesus talked of faith as small as a mustard seed. Um, what we have learned a lot about these miracles. We know so many miracles that happened. What do they teach us about faith? What do they teach us about the, the faith? If you, if you don't have faith, they teach that if you don't have faith, there is nothing that can be done. Look at the disciples. They did not have faith. That is why they failed to hit the boy. Look at the disciples in the boat. They failed to come down the storm because they did not have faith. The faith, the very small faith, they can change situations. It can change whatever is happening around so that it can be the right way. Jesus heals the boy. He demonstrates that if, if the boy could not be healed, it is because they, they are all, all of them, they don't have faith. It indicates um, on his comment on how long shall I put you to put with you. He was not uh, happy with the situation around. He felt that the disciples have betrayed him. They betrayed him by failing to heal the boy who came with that problem. They also failed to, to calm down the storm when he was sleeping. Um, we thank you. Please stay safe. Read your books. And put on your mask all the time. Thank you.